Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mitt MKW here, and I am going to show you guys everything you need to know about a Mario Kart Wii BRLYT file. So, Burlite files are basically just layout files. They edit colors, rotation, all the other stuff. And there's two ways you can edit them. One, you can use Benzin, which is the one I'm going to show you. Or you can use Wii Layout Editor, which is a lot simple and provides a preview as you're editing it. Benzin, I just prefer because I've gotten used to it over the time. So, what you're going to do when you download Benzin, the easiest way to use it is just put it in your C drive folder. But don't put like Benzin underscore Sidgwin if you get that. Just put this main folder in it. And when you're launching. And first, when you get it, it's just going to have the Benzin file and the Sidgwin.dll file. I think Benzin is only a Windows download, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think that's why the Sidgwin's here. But, yeah. When you're launching Benzin, you're not going to use this application. You're going to use Command Prompt. That's what you need. So, the file, well, the command for launching Benzin, because it's just going to be clean, it's gonna be cm. It's gonna be this command up on top, because that's why it's we put it in the C folder. Cause this last part of the command focuses on where it is. So cmd slash k cd. After you put the C, use the forward slash, which is basically just the slash underneath the backspace key, and then benzin. See now you've launched benzin. So these commands here are what are the main commands that you're going to use. This first one converts the Burlite into an XML. And this one does the other way around. The main, the key difference is these two letters here. And of course, the way these are switched. So yeah, once, you're, once you've got those commands down, just go ahead and make, a, make an XML. So benzin R common w058 vote tut dot burlight and then just don't type anything just add a space common w058 vote tutorial dot xmlyt hit enter and you should be fine see it's right here so once you do that I'm just gonna minimize out of it this is our XML file. You will need software that can support it. I'm going to use Notepad++ for this tutorial since it is easiest and most comfortable. So what you're going to start with, I'm going to go from the top. So there's so much stuff in this XML, but you don't need to edit too much. You're just going to need to scroll around a lot to edit all this stuff. So these first couple of lines, you don't need to worry about these. The stuff that you really, the stuff that you're mainly going to be editing is like colors. So you would be editing this stuff here, but the only color stuff that you really need to edit are four color and back color. These other lines aren't really important when you're editing them. And then you have entries, entries name. That's basically what it is that you're editing, and you will need like a what is it? a red green and blue like I usually use GIMP for the colors which is really simple so yeah you see all these stuff here don't edit these texture SRT files it's not really known what they do but it's not don't try editing them either so you're gonna get through a couple like quite a hundred lines of these but it's all worth it so once you get down here about 446 Different XMLs or Burlites have different lengths. So this one, the main things that you're going to really worry about, or if you choose to, are rotate, scale, and size. But later on in the file, there's an important value that you will need to edit. So rotating is basically just rotating it. So you're going to want to edit the Z value when you're doing this. So if you make it a negative value, it will have the left side of the burlite up and the right side down. And if you have, well, positive, then it's just the other way around. So, yeah. Scaling, it's just size. You can double it, triple it. Don't 
make it too much or else it might take up a lot of the screen so once you get through all of that there's a lot more like all these vertex colors you don't need to worry about these there's nothing like nothing important and then you'll see this there's an alpha value for every material when you're do when it has this translate and rotate stuff like that so alpha is basically whether you see it or not ff is it's visible and zero zero is it makes it invisible so yeah you're gonna get through all of that vertex colors aren't edited and there's other rotate values at the top that look a bit like this don't edit these these aren't important so once you go down to the bottom you don't need to edit any of these last lines the main stuff that you're really gonna worry about like after you like you know import it as an XML file Benson tends to like shorten all of their all of it so you're gonna need to find a variable called length you're, you'll see it right here the first one appears here once you get dump so it shortened it shortens it down to 0014 you're gonna want to change that Cha I recommend changing it to 0128 it's e it's an easy value it doesn't fail I've worked with it a lot so that basically works and you have you have to do this for all the linked files or else something's gonna get screwed up along the way so you'll see there's more here and all that stuff so after that that's basically all the stuff you need to edit if you want to then after you're done with it you can go back to Benzin and make the well the burr light again so yeah and there is our burr light so you can exit out of Benzin or command prompt once you're done with it and the way you're going to import this into an SES file I would rec I would highly prefer SES Explorer since it can Im import bigger files like your pr it, the file is probably going to be significantly bigger to when it was a clean file so you're just going to go into like con like race.ses or like menu single or common I don't know if common has burr lights or not, but I know race and menu single do. So you would just go into that, open it with SES Explorer. You can download SES Explorer with C tools and all that stuff. But yeah, once you import it, it'll be all good. Anyway, that is all you guys need to know about burr lights, and I will.